So there's a lot of hunger out there. There's a lot of uh, old people that just need a little bit of company, a little bit of comfort. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's just a warm smile, a pat on the arm or something, you know, just just to be able to be say that we're still part of society. Yes. Don't forget me. Come in here beside me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's well, that's as close as you can be. We're get. as cozy as we can be. This is um, Donna in the pink and Ambrose, our gentleman in the middle, and Alice in the yellow blouse. And we're going to talk a little bit about your experiences with Meals on Wheels for my project, um, my school project. Alice, how long have you been receiving Meals on Wheels? Six years, I'll say. Six years? Which okay, is, so you've had a lot of experience yeah. with it. And then Donna, how long have you been year receiving? A year and a half. A year and a half. And Ambrose? Uh, about the eight days, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because Ambrose, you had a special circumstance that happened, right? And what was that? What was it? You were sick and, yeah. and couldn't take care of I yourself. was, I got pneumonia. Well, I put me in the hospital first, and then they turned me loose, and then my daughter said I was to go to a nursing home. And to get to come home from the nursing, I had to promise I would get meals on wheels. Because nutrition is really important for all of us, isn't yes. it, to maintain. So meals on wheels can either provide like a long-term service or anybody coming home from the hospital well, can yeah. have the service for as long as they, they wish, right? I wouldn't have to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Now, Donna, one time I heard you talking, and this is kind of what inspired me, actually, about thinking about Meals on Wheels as a subject, was you were talking about your diabetes. And you were saying that your doctor said how well it was controlled. Yes. Do you think that um, participating in Meals on Wheels assists you in yeah. keeping your diabetes under control? Uh, yeah, it really does, because I there's this the certain amount that you know that you can eat. And by the way, the meals are fixed by Meals on Wheels, it's the exact amount. Exact amount. So you know that you're getting yes. the nutrition and plus following the, the diabetic uh, diet. Um, let's talk about choices. One of the things that I was impressed with when I got trained at Meals on Wheels was how many choices you get about things. Like you can have the hot meal, or you can order that box lunch. Yes. Well, right? yes. Do so you ever did, order that? I did Alice? today. Oh. It's pretty varied, but some things you, I'm sure you have favorites. Yeah, we have least favorites too. <laughs> yeah, if you're not able to cook, it's the best source you can have. Okay. So if you have dietary issues such as yes. the diabetes, um, maybe you've balance problems balance problems and you're not able to stand for long periods of time to prepare and cook or if you've had a recent illness yes it, it provides a meal when you can't fix it that's the bottom line yes well I am here uh, to feed our senior population we have a tsunami of seniors from the baby boomers and our need has increased from five million seniors to six million and so I'm just doing my small part you know, here in the Polk so County, nationwide, in five the Polk to six County million. Area. Yes, in the Polk County area, I'm here to feed people. This is this meets um, one third our meal, our noon meal meets one third of their daily requirement. But for some of our seniors, that's their only meal that they eat that day, so they really count on that meal. Well, we we uh, fund eighty five percent. Eighty five percent of the meals are funded by other sources. And Most of them have some sort of mobility issues. Um, they might have <clears throat> chewing difficulties or swallowing difficulties. They might have fatigue issues. They might be on types of medication that make them sleepy or they might be uh, forgetful. They'll forget to turn off the, the stove. They might be on oxygen where they're not able to use a gas stove oh, to sure. cook. So it's for different reasons. And what would you say is the most important thing to you at the end of the day? What helps you feel satisfied in this work? Well, it's usually um, <clears throat> just one person or one story or some, you know, something happens where I feel like uh, I mattered. 
How many meals are you running through your system? Through the complete system, we do about a thousand meals a day. I can give you gallons. We, okay, you know, like of vegetables and stuff. It's usually twenty-four to twenty-eight gallons of um, vegetables and potatoes because they get four-ounce servings, and then you know that's for the hot portion. And then of course we have the box lunches, which we do fifty or sixty out of that thousand a day so and you know box lunch is usually like the sandwich yep that's like a sandwich or a salad and then it comes with two sides and a bread and a dessert now one of the things I've been very interested in is how fast you can change the mix of the meals so people can call in like the day before is it the day before or yep. is it cabbage so, yeah so we have to scoop it out and drain it oh so you use the drainer right. put it into the big pitcher and then take it over to the hot table yes. is that yeah okay just like that. Okay. Three portions. Right. We service the uh, Polk County area. Uh, Meals on Wheels is a national organization. There are six million seniors in the United States. My goal is to feed as many seniors in the Polk County area as possible. So Rosa is labeling each meal. Yeah, where's your hair in it, Eric? I didn't put my top on. So every day you check and double check yourself. Right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, how many containers are going out of here? Oh boy, you know I don't. Even Twenty-seven know. routes. We'll say probably ninety to hundred. Ninety to hundred containers. Yep. Loretta Thomas. How long have you been running a route, Loretta? Uh, just a little over five years. And how many deliveries do you do each day? Between thirty-five and forty. And what length of time does it take you to run that route? Well, if I'm lucky, about three hours. <laughs> One day, uh, I had delivered uh, a meal, and uh, I had my eyes on the road, and my husband noticed that the uh, lady had fallen. And so he told me to stop right there, and so we backed up, and he was able to help the lady up. So you're kind of, when you're out there on your route, you're kind of a goodwill ambassador for the whole neighborhood, aren't you? Try to be. Sometimes they want me to mail some letters for them, and uh, sometimes, you know, if uh, they have trash that needs to be taken out, you know, and it's not out of the way, and, <laughs> you know, just little things like that. I always try to wish them a happy birthday, even you know, if it's the day before or the day after, because a lot of times they don't have anybody. Roger, how long have you been delivering Meals on Wheels? Well, this time around, about three years. Three years? Been, did you do it in the past also? Yes. And I've been with Meals on Wheels for over two years. For over two years, and what route do you route, run? Uh, it's Route 19. It's just, I've had the same route ever since I started. And uh, so I get to really know my customers really. <laughs> That's important to them, yeah. isn't it? Your name is Sheila. You've been working for delivering meals for how many years? Six years. Six years. And you route in route number 10? That's correct. And how many stops on your route? Oh, between 25 and 30. 25 and 30 stops. It takes you about how long? About three hours. Three hours? Okay, that's great. How long have you been doing your route? It'll be two years in June. My name's Laura. How many uh, deliveries do you make each time? Around 34 a day. Oh, that's a, that's a big route, pretty big route, isn't it? Yes, but I have a, a, a retirement home, so a lot of them in the one building. So. 16. 16? Yeah. Okay, how long does it take you to run that route? Well, it takes about three and a half hours. About three hours. About three hours? Because I gotta go to Valley West and then. Oh, so you go clear out west. But Valley West Apartments and I deliver. Oh, Valley West Apartments. So you have just one building? Yeah, three floors. Three floors. Thank God for elevators. Yeah. Be very careful, because then they're gonna put new cement down after you leave. So, okay? Just be careful because it won't look pretty and it'll be kind of bumpy probably and I don't want anybody falling or doing anything like that. Fine. Well, I, I dated a girl like that once. It wasn't very pretty. It was still an MYM. Hey! Ah. Hey! <laughs> Their busiest time is when the drivers are out. Okay, so Either you people calls. aren't home or there's an emergency or something. So Perfect. And how long have you been in your job? Um, I've been doing this job for almost seven years. If you know somebody that is not able you know, to eat or to uh, receive nutrient-dense foods or you know, to eat healthfully, that they uh, contact us. So okay. We can get them, got, we can get them fed. You've got great co-workers going on here, working hard every day. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right. we got a great crew. This has really been interesting for us.
Thanks so much for letting us into Meals on Wheels. You're welcome, Jenny. Thank you.